Hey guys, Zator here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on snappy drum compression. Now, in dubstep and generally the electronic type genres, you want a really, really snappy bass, something that's there, punches you, and leaves. But this can be a little bit difficult sometimes, uh, and I know I've had issues with it before. One of the things that you can use to compensate with this is like manual side chaining, where you only let that initial transient pop through, but it, uh, that can create issues later on if you're automating anything else by the volume of the kick and overall if you just want something that's a little bit more snappier. So for an example, I have this kick here. As you can see, it's reasonably snappy. I mean, it's got the punchy first transient, but it's got this huge tail off of it and we don't really want that there. You can see that it hits and then stays around for a second. Now you can easily just tone that out but, I mean, it's still there. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a little bit of fancy compression and bring that more into line. Now, I EQ it first just to get a better tone out of it. I think EQ before compression sounds a little bit better. And since I... All right, there we go. Have a little bit of EQ, not too much. And then I just have a default preset that looks like this. Nothing, those are all turned off. And then looks the master looks like that. Uh, this can be done with just about any compressor. I just like Maximus because it's very, very easy to, to set up because it has this uh, user interface right here. So I'm just going to turn on a simple loop. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the level up. So now the peaks are hitting 0 dB. It's just where I like it doesn't really matter because you can level it later. So to get a snappier drum, I'm actually just going to select double curve. And that's what we have to do. That's it right there. So to give you guys a better look at what it's actually doing, it's effectively a pretty aggressive noise gate that as long as this transient is above a certain level, it will bring the whole thing up to 0 dB. What this does is it means that that initial hit is going to be at 0 dB and then as soon as it's not holding it uh, at a reasonable volume anymore it's just going to cut out. Now I could just bring this kick to just like that and it would sound okay but it loses a lot of that bass content. It's too snappy. So I bring it out to about half, maybe a little bit more. And then that gives me the super snappy drums. Anyways guys, that's how you create a quick super snappy drum. This can be done with like just about any drum, uh, any drum you want really, yeah. I mean, you can use this on toms, snares, hats. I mean, don't know why you would want to use it on a hat. But anyways, try it out. Tell me what you think. This is just a technique that I use in a lot of my projects. See you guys. I'm Zator.